Superhero apparel is a favorite for anyone who's into superheroes, comic books, uh, particularly for characters that belong to DC Comics and Marvel. Uh, like many of us, I am also one of those and for me, one of my favorite pastime happens to be collecting t-shirts that have classic Marvel artwork printed over them. So I'm gonna just sh show you uh, what do I look for when I'm buying a superhero t-shirt because at this moment what we find is that there are a lot of t-shirts out there in the market some of them that are being sold on center point uh, even Lulu hypermarkets you've got H&M for the little kids they have some really awesome uh, prints that they use for uh, their t-shirts but if uh, you are into a particular kind of an artwork you just don't buy anything that's off the that's out there on the shelves uh, this video is gonna help you in knowing what to look for when you go out and buy a t-shirt so because uh, I, I do have uh, DC t-shirts as well like for ba and mo they are all for Batman but I'm gonna be uh, taking you through my Marvel collection and uh, I hope you're gonna find this video quite informative so here are some of my t-shirts uh, as you can see this is one of the oldest one I still have it's one of my favorite t-shirts which is an art by Jim Lee from his famous X-Men run in the early 90s I believe it was X-Men uh, number six or seven some of the earlier issues and it's just a reprint of uh, the actual cover itself you can find it on Google or Marvel Wikia and then there's this these are what I call a sort of a collage kind of t-shirts because as you can see that there are different superheroes who have been drawn by different artists so Hulk this looks like a Hulk drawn by Sal Bushima uh, Thor also looks like drawn by Sal Bushima this one is slightly doubtful I mean is it Jack Kirby maybe uh, because of uh, Jack Kirby's 70s artwork was pretty much on the same lines but I, I'm not sure about that and even as far as Spider-Man is concerned this to me doesn't look like uh, Spider-Man drawn by John Romita but rather drawn by Keith Pollard or Gil Kane any one of the two so what this is like uh, the best of both worlds that you have multiple uh, uh, work of multiple artists or collected into one one picture okay and you know it's just it, it gives you that nostalgic classic Marvel feeling because for me if I am as I've said that if I am buying a t-shirt I always go for a classic Marvel art rather than the modern ones and then this is another example I don't know if the term of a collage is correct for this but here clearly I can see Iron Fist by John Byrne, uh, Black Panther by Jack Kirby, Sam Wilson Falcon by Jack Kirby, Thor by Jack Kirby, uh, Cap looks like uh, also drawn by Jack Kirby from the 70s but this is important Iron Man which is 100% uh, I'm sure that it's Bob Layton's artwork. Spider-Man, I'm not too sure uh, who drew this one. And uh, Natasha, uh, me from the works done by Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen when they did Daredevil. So Daredevil is over here as well. And then you've got the Hulk. I think maybe it's done by Herb Prim. And then we have Doctor Strange by good old Sal Bushima. Or I think it's by John Bushima. Anyhow, uh, so this is another print that is one of my favorites and you've seen me wearing it many times in my videos. 
this is an old t-shirt it doesn't fit me anymore but I still keep it just because of the art on it so this is a Wolverine t-shirt this is the front side and this is at the back X-Men in the year this is from the 90s and here we have the Ant-Man classic t-shirt this is from the earlier issues of Ant-Man uh, a beautiful rendering of the original artwork astonishing Ant-Man we have Iron Man this to me looks like work by the legendary Bob Layton a very good t-shirt that I bought recently and last but certainly not the least this is something which I wore when I was watching Avengers Endgame now this spider-man looks to me drawn by Steve Ditko because of the webbing that you find here because Steve Ditko was the only one who did that I may be wrong but uh, the webbing on the costume the way the eyes have been drawn and all that it looks to me like this was drawn by Steve Ditko there are a few more t-shirts I have which are at the laundry otherwise I would have uh, shown them as well but you've seen them uh, in my previous uh, videos especially the one uh, spider-man t-shirt uh, which has I Keith Pollard so that's my collection in its entirety for the moment uh, and in that case I hope you like the prints uh, if you are a new follower this is my this might be the first time you came across my t-shirt collection especially for classic Marvel art uh, but at the same time, uh, if you have been following me for quite some time wearing these t-shirts uh, in my videos and uh, some of the pictures I've posted, uh, in that case, I hope you found this video quite informative. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, as well as on Facebook. And I hope uh, to see you guys soon. Uh, have a blessed Ramadan. Thank you.